Hey Bass Geek here, and today is tournament number five on South Holston Lake, brought to you by Nichols Lures. We got some. guys so we are out on the lake we're out on south holston i'm not going to give any spoilers away you just keep watching you know i will say this he's catching them so damn fast that i i, I can't get the camera ready sometimes <laughs> so you know so so hopefully you'll get to see them we'll get plenty of pictures of them but uh i want to give you conditions of the day real quick while aj's fishing down this bank that by the way we caught the best of the day on just a second ago uh so guys tournament day giving you a real quick rundown and i'm gonna tell you what we found in practice uh and so far it's paid off so what we kind of found in practice is that there's a shad spawn going on this water color has got a tea color we don't know if it's an algae bloom it's just really unusual water color for this lake this time of year now we're in may and in may well, today's the 15th of may right aj oh yeah he said yeah so Today's the 15th. If not, I guess we're fishing the tournament on the wrong day, but <laughs> I should know that, right? But uh, what we found in practice, we actually found these sort of areas that would be middle of the creek, and we started throwing spinner baits on them because we've seen a lot of shad. Uh, AJ had fished a couple of weeks back, kind of got clued in on a shad spawn, and that's kind of gone on uh dirtier water this lake is normally super clear crystal clear so when the when these sorts of lakes when those clear lakes get dirty those fish go to the bank now oddly enough we have found some out a little bit deeper not too much deeper uh we'll say yeah about 15 we'll say that 10 to 15 foot range so that mid depth in our book mid depth uh sort of range now we got bluebird skies it's pretty much been the whole deal there's cold front coming in surprise surprise if you watch those practice videos you'd know that already and uh you watch those practice videos guys you'll it really kind of works together to seeing what happened then and how we decided to fish these areas now so basically uh and these, these banks are fishing too have rock yeah these, these small are hanging around yeah whoa what you can't see is there's actually some rock in here the same kind of rock that they actually spawn on a lot of times the smallmouth. that's kind of what we're targeting now all that being said all that being said uh conditions of the day we're going to have a nothing wind three miles an hour is as much as it's supposed to get it is going to reach 70 degrees today the water temp this morning was 61 62 which is cold it's been cold we had a uh, uh cold front yeah that come through and you know we're in the middle of may we're we're, we're normally seeing upper 60s lower 70s most time those 70 degree water temps right now and uh it's just been that kind of year um bluebird skies uh, which is what it's been the past really three days a little bit of cloud cover but uh, you see a lot of a lot of those bright blue skies i know you can't see that too well but we're fishing grubs and swim baits on points and we're fishing spinner baits in the middle of creeks where we're seeing the shad and this is the key the shad are coming up at night and you're not seeing the shad on this lake the shad won't well in some places it will but most places it'll get up on the bank at night and then as soon as it starts getting daytime it pulls out and they're out here in about 10 foot of water and they're in the middle of the creeks well where we see that is where we're throwing spinner baits now let's get back to it and uh add to what we got so a lot of people don't think about a popper like this in open water 
But the good thing about this Rico, in a good in a good pauper period, is you can walk it. And you know, it's white. Actually, I got a black one in there. Might be better this morning. A black one. All right, guys. So what you didn't see right there is that AJ just caught one on the old grub, our first keeper of the day. Hopefully, not our last. Goes right back to what we say about, it's amazing how these fish can see that bait with the low light, this much chop. You know what I'm saying? Number two on the grub. I have to pick a daggone grub up. Asked AJ to let me borrow one. Caught him. He is gonna be hard to hurt. Big, big. Get the net down the water. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't stick it down in the water. He's up, he's up, he's up. He's up. I can't see him. That's her. 100% her. I know it is. <laughs> Jeez, girl. That's her. 100%. <laughs> there we go. That's her. I got her again. <laughs> You're making me a damn believer out of this grub. You know that, don't you? <laughs> AJ's got the magic touch today. As I keep her largey. Knock the out of me. That might be a big one worth making another cast at, my friend. Gosh, how? They just smack it, maybe. Well, it's about time for me to get a beef stick. Get hungry again. Oh, there's one. Hey, keep me right here. Keep me right here. Oh, don't get hung. Just keep me right here. That's short. Ah, come on. nipped at it again right there. I don't know if he's big or not. See right now is when I need that wind to quit. He hit it again right there, though. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, I don't even know where it's going now. Oh. I thought I seen him flash. I pulled on it right there. God, if I get a hold of him, he gets around this. Number five, baby. 
All right, good, we're away from everybody so I can actually talk to you guys a little bit. All right, so my boy AJ here has been on fire today. <laughs> I mean, he's been on fire. AJ, real quick, tell us what you caught them all on today. Uh, so, grub and then the old spinner bait. We, we found this deal the other day and yep. we come in here and we side scanned to eliminate fishing a lot of dead water. And we seen the bait fish. That's the key. You gotta All have bait. About it. And we seen some bait balls. Yep. And we stopped when we quit seeing bait fish. Yep. And uh, <laughs> we started fishing. Yeah, and the, the first cast he made. First cast that big. That's made. probably what three and a half, I'd three and three quarters. Really Easy. So we got probably two in a boat that's three and a half. Two good small mouth. But we're gonna get back at it right now. Got uh, got a pretty good little pocket down through here, and. Uh, might not be too many boats that's fished it. All right, guys, kind of a midday update. What time is it? 11.52. 11.50 what? 11.52. 52. So uh, we got to be in at three o'clock. Um, what does that leave us? About three, four hours. Uh, well, about three hours. And right now we're probably sitting on right at that 10 and a half, 11 pound mark. We got five in the boat. Uh, you know, most of the tournaments, it has taken, a about, we'll just say 11 and a half to cash a check so you know we're looking to for one more good bite uh to upgrade one and if we can pull that off we might be in the money that's a way to finish off a regular season let's go find it all right guys we are back at the spot where i, I say we were team but AJ really put uh, three of our five in the boat this morning. Right, three or four? What do we put? Uh, three of them. Three off here. Yeah. Want to hunt three up here and one off. I don't know if this is a fish. Alright, but I'll see. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Dude, this has to be. If it is, it's a damn giant. Oh my god, it is. It's big, largey. Baby. Yes. Oh, oh. I tank fish. Woo. You found a spot. <laughs> 22, five fish. Boat number 22 is five fish today. <laughs> Mr. AJ Eisen and Hank Rogers, the Basque and AKA. We got five big ones in there. We got five. We got and we've got a whole win. Hey, consistency. I don't think it's small enough for a four pound, but yeah. Here we go. Total weight, five fish, all right, Mr. Ison, Mr. Rogers. 11, 12, 11, 12. Good job, guys. All right, guys, sorry that we didn't do, me and AJ did not do the outro. Uh, meant to do it in the truck on the ride home, but we were in such a big hurry. Uh, we had a great time. Practice. If you've seen those practice videos, you'll see... We kind of found some things, and some things that you've seen that we did during the tournament, 
that we found that I didn't have on camera. Um, like cranking that long point. We really felt, and we started there to start the day. Uh, generally, basically what happened was I caught a fish in practice there toward the end of the day. It was right close to the boat ramp, and we thought, okay, there's a ditch there. Hopefully we can get it. Uh, so we jumped over there really quickly, fished that for a while, went to another spot, and we really felt like those two first, those first two spots were going to be spots where we could put enough weight in the boat to have a shot at maybe even winning the tournament. But, uh, you know, it didn't work out. You know, we, we said, if you've seen the little live stream we did at the beginning of the tournament, uh, we were going to start out on spots that were either going to hero or zero, and unfortunately they zeroed for us, but we were able to put some stuff together. And I feel like what we actually found as the day went on is we found some fish that were moving out deep. So everybody was throwing that spinner bait that you seen AJ catch that about three, three and a half pound small mouth on. But that was kind of, everybody was doing it. Every boat you seen, they were throwing small swim baits. They were throwing, you know, that sort of stuff. But what we found was that we believe that was an algae bloom that was on the water really discoloring it. But we also believe that that only went maybe five, eight, 10 foot at the max because AJ was catching them out deeper on a natural colored grub. And I was catching them on a, uh, uh, Tennessee shad swim bait, and I had thrown the uh, like several different colors, bright colors, uh, electric blue sartreuse, sexy shad, and never took a bite until I switched over to that more natural color. So we believe the water was actually clear a little deeper. And the one spot that we found, which had some rock on a main lake point which we, we believe those spawners were beginning to move out there. Uh, we really think that was kind of the deal that if we could have found more of those things in practice, we might've been on something a little ahead of the fish that a lot of people maybe weren't on at the time. Uh, you know, we, it worked out. It's taken just a little over 11 pounds to cash a check in almost every single tournament except this tournament. So coming into that last spot, we knew that we, we felt like all we needed was maybe a good three, three and a half pounder. We might be in money range, but unfortunately it was the third day of a cold front and everybody caught them. So it ended up taking about 13 pounds to cash a check, 13 and some change to cash a check. And the winning bag was, uh, 19 almost 20 pounds which you know pretty good bag for the way the conditions played out on that day all right guys as always want to give a big shout out to nickels lures and brain freeze shaved ice guys make sure you go check them out tell them thanks for allowing us to get out and do this series um as always Questions, comments in the comment section below. Guys, you know I love to talk fishing with you. So leave me those comments. All the comments, all the likes, all the interactions help this channel. So please comment, like, subscribe. As I always say, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you ring the notification bell so you can get, these, uh, get the notifications when these videos come out. And as always, you guys rock.